In today's video, I have two methods that work fantastically for me to remove that hard to get off sunscreen and a full face of makeup. <laughs> I am one of those people that I reapply sunscreen throughout the day. So by the end of the day, I have layer upon layer upon layer on top of makeup, under makeup. I got lots of sunscreen on. And I actually have found two ways that work great for me at removing makeup, even, even that hard to remove Australian gold that we all love during the summer months. Right Good morning. Now. I just got out of the shower and thought that I would put on the Australian gold today and then so that later today tonight we could take it off and I could show you how I take off hard to get off sunscreens and we all know that this is one of the harder ones to remove. I am not currently wearing this during the colder days because it does cling to dry patches and I feel like it does it is a very drying sunscreen formula. This is usually my go-to summer <laughs> sunscreen, but for the purposes of this video and to test out the best way of removing this and other hard to remove sunscreens, I'm going to use it today. I did wash my face this morning in the shower and now I'm just putting a little bit of the Thayer's toner around my nose. Um, I feel like it helps keep breakouts away. I have been sick. So <clears throat> my face is very dry and dehydrated right now. I also have a new phone, so I'm not sure where to look at for the camera. Um, so I apologize, but it should be better video quality. You should be able to see every single pore on my face. Uh, for the past three months, I have been loving this Mad Hippie Triple C night cream, but I use it day and night. Um, see, so yeah, I've used up almost all of it. Again, I have a new one coming. I get it off of, um, Oh, what is the name of it? Oh, the Grove. You know, the the Grove is a Grove Collective, which is like, has like the all natural stuff, household, personal care items, all that. I, it feels very moisturizing to me and I love it. And I also, so I have this old acne scar right here and it has been fading that. It's been doing a fabulous job. All right, I'm gonna let this moisturizer sink in. Actually, I'm gonna put the Super Goop Bright Eyed Sunscreen under my eyes and on top of my eyes, and then I'm gonna let everything sink in for about five minutes before applying the Australian Gold. So I like to put this on my eyelids all the way up to my eyebrows, under my eyes, and you have to let this sit too, because if you just try to put concealer on on top of it, <clears throat> it'll just move your concealer all around if you don't let it set and it'll make your concealer peel up all the way here and then I take any leftover and put it here and here and it's mineral so it doesn't cause your eyes to sting okay I will be back okay it's been about five minutes this should be yeah it's a brand new one <laughs> let's put this on my face it so, looks so dark doesn't it but this way when we when I take it off later, because it's tinted, it'll be easier to see how much of it comes off my face when I remove it. I have two different methods of removing sunscreen. So this will probably be it. I'll show you now, but then I'll show you two different ways tonight and then tomorrow night, how I remove sunscreen. So I'll be my face the same way and I'm a person who reapplies during the day on top of my makeup so we'll get extra layers of makeup here let me get this I might put a different one down my neck we'll see I might put a different sunscreen on my neck honestly I could wear this as my foundation today <clears throat> I love the way this looks on my face but it is more matte so I'm not currently wearing this Cause it's cold here it's cold all right i will put a different sunscreen on my chest i don't know where to look with this camera <laughs> i put a different sunscreen on my chest and my shoulders all right i'm gonna let this sit for about 10 maybe 15 minutes and then i'll be back to put on the rest of my makeup on top okay i am back 
We're gonna put on the my Misha foundation that I absolutely love. <laughs> it also has a sunscreen in it. I like using this. This is one of the L'Oreal sponges. It's not the beauty blender. And we'll just tap this on. Do I expect this to provide sunscreen coverage? No. <laughs> Okay, I've got my foundation on and I'm gonna put the rest of my makeup on and then I will check back in you when I'm reapplying sunscreen on my face and then we'll just cut straight to how I remove the stuff at the end of the day, how I remove my full face at the end of the day. I'll see you then. Losing time, I'm fading fast. I just want to make it last. Try to let go of the past. I close my eyes, embrace the blast. Sleepless nights and headaches stack. Restlessness to hell and back. What's my purpose? What do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack. And sometimes you just gotta believe. There's something that'll give you relief. There's something. Okay, I have put on two layers of sunscreen today. The one in the morning was the Australian Gold. The second one was this, and I did end up going for a walk, so I put a whole layer of this on. And then I just got through working out on the elliptical, running <laughs> for 50 minutes. So I'm gonna take it off with this method, the double cleanse method. So I'm gonna use the Burt's Bees Cleansing Oil, and Follow it up with my CeraVe, and we're gonna use a white washcloth so you can see what comes off. But I'm not gonna use this on my eyes, I'm gonna take my eyes off with an eye makeup remover. My eyes off, I'm not taking my eyes off, I'm gonna take my <laughs> eye makeup off with an eye, a different remover. All right, let's take off my eye makeup first. This is the Walmart brand of eye makeup remover. I have been re-watching the Marvel movies in a chronological order. And while running on the elliptical, I've been watching the um, Avengers Infinity War is what I'm currently watching. I've always watched them by release date and this is my first time watching by chronological order. Okay, so I just did like two pumps. Oops, and I'm dropping all of it. And I put it on a dry face. I don't put any water on my face. Okay, <laughs> and I just rub it all in, and then I rinse it off, and then I follow it with the CeraVe. All right, let's wipe it off with a washcloth and see what comes off. Get my ears. Looks like I didn't get my ears as well as I wanted to. All right. Looks like the only part that I didn't do a great job of washing were, were my ears, but that's not surprising. I feel like your ears are hard to get off. Makeup or sunscreen out of your ears. But yeah, see? So I've got a little bit of eye makeup on here and then the brown Sunscreen is because I didn't wash off my ears completely. Everything else is clean and it doesn't feel stripped because this is not stripping, it's hydrating. And this is not stripping, it's also hydrating. I have one more method to show you. I am gonna put the Australian Gold, wear that again tomorrow, and then I'll show you the second way that I take off my um, skin, my sunscreen makeup, okay. Hi, <laughs> okay, this is day the next day. I put on the Australian Gold this morning. I did the whole Misha foundation, and I, again, worked out for an hour on the elliptical. Well, no, it was an hour, it was 30 minutes running. <laughs> so this is my second recommendation for taking off sunscreen and makeup, <clears throat> and this is one step. I got this in a FabFitFun, and everybody was talking about it, and I didn't believe that it would actually take everything off one time, but it does. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna show you. Um, this is the Tula Skin Care 
Um, Tula Skincare Probiotic and Superfoods, the Cult Classic Purifying Face Cleanser. Now I know you're wondering, is this gonna strip your face? Is it gonna be harsh? Because I don't like harsh cleansers that make me feel like my skin is squeaky clean and dried out. No, this is hydrating. I'm not gonna talk you through it, but I am gonna show you washing, I'm gonna show you washing my face. But you do put water on first, then I take a big old glob of this and rub it in, and then I'll, I'll wipe it off with the washcloth. Okay, I'm gonna show you right now. Okay, look how clean this is. Now, <laughs> Once again, <laughs> um, I did not get a lot of it out of my ears just doing the water and the cleanser, but I don't need to go back. My face doesn't feel tight or dry or anything. I am gonna follow up with a moisturizer, um, but yeah, it's clean. All the sunscreen is off, back to bare face. That is how I do two different ways to take off my makeup and skincare that actually work, that take even the hard to get off Australian gold. My face is so red. I like to follow, especially after I work out with this um, Ultra Repair Oat and Hemp Seed Dry Oil. I like to do like two or three drops and it just kind of calms my skin down a little bit. And then I follow it up with my nighttime moisturizer. If you would like for me, if you'd like to see more in this process, let me know. Also, let me know what do you use to take off your skincare because my way isn't the only way. I'm sure there are lots of other ways that are working for you all. I just thought I would share my way. I'm still learning. <laughs> I'm like the rest of you. I'm still learning um, what works best for me and my skin. And I've noticed that as I age, my skin changes. I don't know about you. Does your skin change as you get older? Because mine definitely has. All right. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.